Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home RTH 6580WF Smart Thermostat. The WF stands for Wi-Fi Capable, and it's also can work with Google Assistant and Alexa. So this video is going to be covering the full programming of a seven-day schedule on this device. Now, I have other videos covering manual override, factory reset, and the setup menu. So if that's something you guys are interested in, please check out those other videos as this, this one here is only going to be covering the programming of the device. So if you want to use this thing to its full capability, you're going to want to pay attention to this now. All right, so let's first go over what the display is here and what the buttons do. We have our indoor temperature, which is this. And on the right, we have the heat setting or the cooling setting, our, our desired set point. Okay, so when you change this here, you're going to see that number change for the up and down button to select your set point. And on the screen, it shows hold until 6 p.m. So that's your temporary hold. When you go to change this, it's going to want to tell you, okay, we're going to hold this till 6 p.m. and that's it. After that, it's going to go into its normal schedule. Moving along, along the bottom here, we have cancel. So if we, we can cancel that out, we just canceled our temporary hold. And now we have the first button is how you actually program the device. Then we have fan, which is auto or on. You always want to keep this thing in auto. When you have this in on, it's going to continuously stay on regardless if the heating and cooling is actually being used or not. So that's good if you want it to circulate the, the air in the house and then you can go manually turn it off, which you want to keep it in fan auto. Here we have on the third button, the system um, type here. We have heating, cooling, and off. So we're just going to leave it in, in heating. And the more button really doesn't give you much. There's really no more options. It just says back. Okay. So we're going to focus on this first button here, this first tab, which is your programming. So it's going to ask you to set the clock. And then you can also set the day here by clicking on the third button, set your day. Very important to set those accordingly. And then the very last button is set your schedule. This is where all the fun happens. This is where you're gonna program each and every day of the week according to the, exactly the way you want. So you're gonna go in and first start on the time where as you can see here, it says Monday wake. So we have four periods of the day. You're gonna have wake, I believe uh, away, return, and sleep. Okay, so each one of these has to be set. Each four periods of the day have to be done for this properly to work. So I'm just gonna punch through this and show you the sequence. So then it goes from the time to, this, to the, the actual heat setting. So you're gonna wanna set that up exactly to the way you want. So 72 degrees, let's go to the next one. As you can see, it progressed to leave and you have to do repeat the same thing. So the time that you want the, the leave period to start and then the, the actual temperature that you want the leave period to have. Hit next, it just continues on. So as you progress through the button, the next button, it's gonna bring you to the next time period in Monday. And it's just gonna keep on doing that. Now we're in sleep, we're still in Monday, now We've continued on to Tuesday. So the same thing, you're gonna see wake, you're gonna see these two flash and then it goes into the next time period. Return, sleep. This is not a touch screen by the way, you have to use the buttons. So as you progress through the whole four periods of the day, each day of the week, you're gonna set these up accordingly. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna to take too long on the video but you get the idea, set your time and set your temperature and then hit the next button and you're gonna progress all the way, all the way to Sunday, okay? At any time you can hit the, the done button and um, go back to the main screen and you'll be done. You can also, so as you can see, we're in Friday return. If you wanna not have the heating or cooling turn on, I can press this button right here. It says cancel period. As you can see, it completely blocked out that period of that day. 
we'll hit next. Now if we hit back, so it's going to continue on. So if we hit back, it's going to bring us to that deleted segment, the deleted time period. Go ahead and hit cancel period. It'll bring it back to its normal state, and now you can program the time and the, the, the heat setting. So just do that and um, figure out what's the best for you. You might have to come in, into this menu a bunch of times um, throughout the first month you have it programmed because you're going to figure out, okay, I want to um, you know, fine-tune this so it, it's a, a, a degree or more or less, whatever, whatever it is, at a certain time period until you find the, um, the proper settings that makes you happy for, for, for your home. What I did is actually set up an Excel sheet so I can remember all these times and temperatures for each thermostat of the house, each zone of the house. That's a just a tip on, on my end. Um, an Excel sheet will really help you keep track of it. But anyways, now we can go and hit done. Say you just completely finished all your time and setting um, requirements here. Hit done. And it's going to bring you to back to the main screen. And now you're you're all set. You're ready to go. It's going to be running its program that you just set up and uh, see how it does. And like I said, you might have to go in and fine tune it. But that's going to be it for programming. Uh, I also have how to manually override this. There's two different ways. As well as factory reset, as well as the setup menu. When you first set this thing up, you're going to want to know the setup menu and what it means. So those are all things you want to know before you get into programming. They will help you out. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.